What's up, beautiful people? I'm Big Chris. We're here at the Beard Brand Barbershop here in Austin, Texas. I'm here with my good buddy, Mike. He needs to get cleaned up today. He's got some really awesome hair. Let's find out what's going on. What are you, what are you thinking of doing this time, man? I'm um, thinking like a low fade into a one or two, and then about one, one and a half inches off the top. Okay, it's so like the one or the two near the bottom here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And this is pretty much the way you style your hair all yeah, the time? Yeah, exactly. So you want to keep all this volume here on this side? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. I like starting in this section, right behind the ear. That way, if you're like guessing with the guard and you discover it's too short, you know, this is out of sight for him and you can come back and sort of blend this stuff together if need be. But I've got my two guard on right now and I'm just kind of going straight up. Doing some debulking. I'm just running the machine right off the parietal ridge here, which is the whitest part of the head. Just like that. Switch to a one guard, man. I'm actually gonna close the clipper and just start just start fading up here. I'll keep this one pretty low. Mike, this is your second time at the shop, or is this your third haircut? Yeah, it's my second time. Um, first time was life-changing, so I, I had to come back. There's no substitute for Big Chris. <laughs> Mike, you're awesome, man. Thanks for saying that, dude. How did you hear about the shop again? You said a friend? Yeah, my, my Greek buddy, Giannis, uh, came in here, and he... Oh, you it's, had a Greek freak. Yeah, the Greek freak, yeah. All, all he talked about for two weeks was Big Chris. So I, I was like, all right, dude, like, oh, I'll try it out. That's great. You can't, you have to book like a month in advance, but other than that, it's amazing. <laughs> so now I've got my number one guard open and I'm just kind of, just kind of bringing the fade up. And then the weight that's above here, I'll come back with like a number two and then I'll probably have to come back with a one and a half to really bring it all together. Last haircut was about a month ago? I'd say about, six, seven weeks ago. It grew out so nice, I didn't even want to get another haircut. Yeah. <laughs> That's the issue. You, you got to do them a little bit worse, Chris. You're never going to get any return customers. Mike, you're in school right now? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm graduating in two weeks, so that's why I need to get the cut for that. What did you study? Finance. Finance? Oh, yeah. Right. There you go. I feel like all my buddies who studied finance are doing pretty good for themselves right now, man. <laughs> that's, yeah, they, they get paid a lot to do nothing. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I like it. <laughs> I've got that two guard on now, and I'm just kind of blending from the one and a half until that two and a half. And this is what I'm focusing on right now. Like, I'll come back and get in there. Really just all this shit. So are you guys watching NBA over there, man? Oh yeah, I'm, I want the I want the Nuggets to come back a little bit though. I like I I, I like the Warriors, but yeah, yeah. it's just I don't I don't like 4-0 series. You know, I feel like Joker deserves better too. <laughs> like I feel bad for that guy. He's you can just tell he's he's just exhausted yeah. <laughs> trying to try to carry him. It's so basically my trick for here is like clipper all the way open, and I try to get try to get everything as even as I can. And then I do my normal like halfway close. And then come up about halfway. And then I'll close the machine all the way and then hang out around the bottom here. And all the time I've got this like flicking motion I use to help the hair blend together. And then I'll open the machine up just a little bit. And then just creep a little higher. And then finally all the way open and then I'll close it just a touch and go right underneath all the way open. And then just try to get it as smooth as I can. I grab that 116th guard and I can just start walking the fade up, or excuse me, walking the tape up in the back here.
uh, at 12 zero all the way open, and then I close that zero guard, and I, and I just try to get the wave hanging out underneath. Man, a huge, huge shout out to Gamma for sending over this Apex Clipper. This thing is really nice. Yeah, super smooth, man. Like, I'll get free machines, and I'll, I'll use them for like half a day, and just, you know, you never see them again. I'll just throw them in the locker, but this one's been at the station for a minute now, man. I really like it. So we ran a one and a half back there. This is this is a number one guard closed. One and a half would be this same guard, but it's opened up on the machine. I'm gonna do one and a half open, which is like a number two closed, maybe a little shorter. I'm just gonna come and just try to buff some of this stuff down. Maybe open it halfway. Try to lighten some of this dark stuff up without just riding the number one guard all the way up, all the way open. And maybe I can close it a little bit too. So taper's done. Most of the clipper work's done on the side. I'm gonna start blending into the top here. I'm using this uh, clipper over comb technique. And like, I love this, uh, this finer tooth clipper comb from, uh, from Oster. I feel like it just lets me do more detailed, like, flipper over comb work. Ooh, that smells good. What is that, right, man? I put a little bit of, um, oh, Ruzel's got that hair tonight, man. I'll put a little bit in the bottle. Nice. Where you just don't have to sniff regular old, regular old water. I don't know, man. I thought I'd have something cooler there. <laughs> it's the details. Right? <laughs> Yeah, clipper over comb is something that helped me um, save a lot of time on my cuts and like helps me be more efficient for sure. Put the clipper down for a minute, man. Get the top wet and start uh, chopping into the very top here. Man, do you ever grow your beard any longer than what you got it right now? Um, no. No. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah. I'm scared of what would happen yeah. during a duck dynasty. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, I've never grown it out. So, I don't know. So you trim it at home? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I just throw clippers on it. Uh, Phillips and Norelco, shape it up. Okay. How often do you do that? Um, probably like, well, I'd say like once every four or five days. I usually trim it down to like a uh, like three millimeters my clippers, and then I use a Phillips and Norelco with nothing on it to line it up and do my neck too. So I'm shooting for about a half, uh, inch and a half from the front there. Sort of just pulling the hair up and following the shape that's in my head as we go along. So I'm trying to cut it so that it's longer in the front. It's not a symmetrical cut. So we're keeping this side longer so we can retain some of the volume on the very top. And then obviously when we get back over here, we cut it shorter so that it blends in with the sides. Grab this clipper again, start working my magic, man. So it's longer to shorter, right? So I'm watching the longer hair and the comb, and then I just angle the comb back towards the crown, and I can just sort of knock out that stuff I see there. Separated a little easier. And then we're doing this like longer to shorter thing. So I'll just cut this just a little bit shorter right there. And then for this part of the cowlick or the swirl or whatever you want to say, I'll just sort of bring this part up so that it's level with the hair that's in this section here. I'll grab another chunk like so, pull it up. 
to do a little bit of the same thing over here where I'm sort of pulling this hair up and cutting it level with the top. Mm -hmm. right here. Oh, Chris, what's up with the what's up with the haters on the door? Dude, one of my clients brought that in. <laughs> We're still trying to exactly figure out what it means. It's pretty funny. Hey, you're a Gen Zer, man. I thought you'd have like a zillennial, some zillennial input on that one. <laughs> is, that a, is that a thing? Did I get that right? No. Tell how f***ing old I am, man. <laughs> you blow dry it at all, man? Uh, yes. no. no. Not you. Something to think about, man. You got pretty cool hair. Look cooler if you blow dry it. Really? Not necessary, though. Yeah. I'll consider it, man. If you say it, I'll, I'll consider it. <laughs> it's just something to think about, man. Man, just he manipulates hair. So if you're trying to get your hair to look like a specific shape, yeah. the blow dryer is like your best friend. You can create volume or you can lay hair down with it. And also it just helps smooth your hair out too, man. Interesting. Like I'm putting tension on it with the brush and kind of stretching out the strands. And the heat's kind of like pressing the hair. Yeah, I, I thought it just gave volume. I didn't know it also could press it down. Oh yeah, dude. Interesting. So like in the back, I'll use it to lay, uh, to lay a lot of this volume down. So I don't like looking at it until it's finished. But I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see anything. Oh, I'm, no, dude. Well, I know I have the worst vision though. So I, I'm, but I'm way into the finale. I was just about to ask you what you think of it. Man. I literally can't. I can barely. I'm just like an outline of myself right now. I have the worst vision. Okay, we can pull out a trimmer and get the edges done here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a hand, even though we didn't book a beard trim. Just right in front of the ear. It's so hard to see this on your own if you're at home, man. I just wanted to get this little, this little bit right here for you. A little courtesy, man. Appreciate courtesy it. trim right there. And then I'll uh, trim over the ears. I'm trying to keep it as natural as I can right here. And just clipping these hairs that are overhanging. And then otherwise, when I'm back here, I'm trying to keep this as wide as I can. I know a lot of guys like to come in and do like this stuff, but I'm trying to like go straight down if I, if I can. And then eventually, you know, I'll angle it a little bit and try to capture some of this stuff. But sticking with his natural lines, man, that helps, that helps keep the grow back nice and natural. Even right here, when I come back to smooth all this stuff out. Maybe I'm cutting into some of that light growth. Mike's a little younger. So I'll, so I'll even edge up this part here, man. This is always like a character judgment if I should run the trimmer in that area. So what's the, like, what's the criteria for if you, if you trim there or not? It's just like younger, a little more hipper. He likes like sharper lines oh, yeah, on the yeah. haircut. Yeah, yeah. And even for this line, I'm trying to line it up with the corner of the eyebrow right here. And it should be, it's like, to me, this is the most protruding part, man. And it's just like, man, if I can just start that line right there. You could back this in a little bit more if you want to, but we're sticking with the natural line. So just trying to keep it in that area. I want to make sure this, this corner doesn't grow out too long on you. So I just want to pull it down this way and we should see a point pop out and we can sort of clip that off. And do it even more towards the front. There's another point there. Bring it back. And there may even be one right in this area. Yeah, a little bit there. So that's like two or three weeks I chopped off right there, man. There we go. Save you from it falling in your eyes sooner than you want. 
right, let's grab your glasses, dude. All Time right. For the moment of truth. Let's see it. <laughs> Ooh. There you go, man. Oh, yeah. That looks really good. That's sharp. Yeah, you, you killed that. Nice, dude. Let me take a look at it from that side, too. That's awesome. Hopefully it grows back like the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm probably not going to be back for a while, though. I'm going I'm to be abroad this summer. Um, but it'll, it'll probably be good till September. There we go. Based, based on my calculations. <laughs> I'm gonna get you some of that old money um, styling bomb for you to try out, man. Oh, cool. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, I've been looking for a new pomade. Yeah, we call ours, uh, it's a styling bomb. It's really more of a paste. Um, it's not, it's gonna, it's gonna hold your hair in place, but it's not gonna give you helmet hair. Okay. So, like, throughout the day, you can, like, touch your hair, restyle it, and it's not gonna feel, like, hard or greasy in your yeah. hands. Smells good. A little dose, yeah, man. That's my most popular scent. And I'm just grabbing like yay much. Mm -hmm. Completely emulsifying the hands, man. Cover the fingers. Sometimes I get in between. <laughs> and then we're not just gonna throw it on the top, man. We're gonna run it all the way through. Really get it in there. Do this move too sometimes, man. Really coat those hairs. And any extra on my hands, I'm always throwing it back in this area here. Yeah. So everyone struggles with the little swirl, aka cowlick, aka pain in the ass area of the haircut. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bad one when I was a kid. Yeah. My, my Greg Clips barber didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> it's pretty wild back there, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like right in the center here, I'm keeping the hair a little bit longer, so it just wants to lay down right there. Yeah. And then I'm just kind of combing the side just so that's tame. But this stuff, man, you want to you finger style this all day, man. Yeah. No sly. A lot of people shave the neck, but not a, not a lot of people go over the ear. And that's there's always little hairs hiding out here, man. No matter how sharp you think your trimmer is, man, there's always a little something, especially if they're in that area or right here. This is with the back the back end of the razor. I believe that's called the heel. And the front part of the razor is called a point. Man, someone's going to roast me in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. <laughs> Guaranteed. Get all this stuff out of here. Have a nice hot towel. Make sure it's not too hot. Test it on my forearm. I, I can take it, don't worry. <laughs> What's that? I can take it. <laughs> oh my lord, do not put your towels in the <laughs> microwave, man. <laughs> Be very careful when you take them out, put it like that, man. My hair, it's got sea salt spray in it, baby. Look at this, look at that flow. It's like flowing like the ocean wave.